He's already upstairs. Like here, behind the wall. Got him. Nice. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another quick play in Hunt Showdown. Uh, I wanted to say daily quick play because we've been running this series for a few weeks in the past. Yeah, but uh, honestly I'm really uh, very much enjoying uh, this, you know, a little breakout from the constant bounty hunt. And always check the spawn here at the pearl plantation, but there is no one. Uh, usually there is like early fights here at the at, at the pearl. There are three spawns minimum. Okay, I'm just gonna lose some random stuff. Maybe something nice will be at the clue. Exactly. There is meathead here very often. I would even say like majority of of the times. Okay. Vandal dead eye and this is Pax True Shot. Guys, Romiro, Pax True Shot. And that's all we need. Very nice set. Very, very nice set. Uh, we This is gonna be a running game, I see already. Because uh, the world spring is gonna get, get activated somewhere at the south side of the map. Uh, but yeah, Romero also has uh, extra value when playing on uh, the quick play, because we are reversing only solos, you know. So the the usual problem with the Romero shotgun is that if you land the first kill, and the other hunter is pushing, you don't have anything in the chamber. And usually this is not a problem when you are playing uh, uh, solo on quick play. Because you need only one bullet if you hit accurately and if the if guys if the spread of the shotgun is gonna not hit the hands. I've been recently doing some research and uh, please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. But uh, I've been reading like some some stuff about like the uh, the hitbox and the damage layout. And uh, yeah, I think the problem with the game. Well, this game has quite a lot of problems, actually, if you look at it as, like, from the perspective of potentially competitive competitive uh, FPS, right? But uh, one of the bigger problems is, like, the damage inconsistency. Like, I'm, I can, I'm sure that everyone can tell, like, hitting someone uh, with some solid medium ammo gun, for example, I know, the drilling. Two times and the guy just runs away uh, when the like effective dam damage clearly tells you that from from that distance they should easily die right uh, but they don't and most of that is because of the fact that the if you if I remember correctly like the upper torso is like the default part of the of the hitbox of the body right because mm, it like uh, there is no multiplier basically the damage the damage of the weapon uh, it's like the raw number that uh, decreases the health of the enemy if you shoot it into the upper torso. Of course, if it's within like the the, the range um, before the um, bullet starts uh, dropping off, you know some of some of its damage. But if it's in the range, it's like the upper torso is like the main main body part that uh, like absorbs the 100% of damage. Oh, I think we have players at the at the fork, yeah. And the problem with hunt, in my opinion, is that uh, is the fact that the multiplier of the guys of the hunts is 0 0.615. Oh yeah, lots of people are gonna come here.
Let's see, there's one. There's gonna be more. I know that. The question is where? Technically, I could push with the shotgun, because it's... Uh, where's the rift? Right there, okay. Because it should be quite safe. Rift square activated, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight away. There is this guy somewhere... F like... I heard a melee attack. And it was not from the main. Female character. Shit, I should reposition. Okay, that's way better. There was a melee attack somewhere, guys. Oh yeah, right there, I see a player, but I think this is not a female, guys. So this probably is even another hunter. He was exactly right there. They have a fight. Okay, let's approach that white building right here. Keeping in mind still that there's someone might be to our right. But I think that the player that I think that might be to my right is the guy we saw just a moment before in the white shirt. And from here we can do some spicy stuff. They kind of, they kind of might be running to the risk square here to my left. As you know guys, these are like two, two players for free, right? Okay, they backed out, kind of. Martini, no. No movement at all. Now they're gonna waste my time, let's go for the risk query. Uh, so yeah, so coming back to 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 my chat, uh, what I finished is that the multiplier of the hands is 0 0.615, if I remember correctly, but it's a little bit more than 60%. So guys, it's like a little bit more than half of the damage that the that the weapon should deal, you know. So, uh, even if you hit someone, like, accurately into the upper torso, uh, but they, like, turn sideways, because they're running sideways, you know? Uh, the damage drop-off is so, so bad, guys. I think it's even, like, better recognizable with the... Uh, with some, like, weaker pistols, like the Officer uh, or the Bornheim. Uh, you have these situations for sure that you're just shooting, I don't know, like five bullets into the guy and he's still running around. Yeah, so in my opinion, a great uh, way uh, to like walk this around and make the, da the damage more consistent. Oh shit. Would be just to decrease the. Um, the multi- uh, inc sorry, increase the multiplier of the hands. That's the guy from Fort River, okay. Yeah, there's lo there lots of people. Lots of, lots of people, guys. I don't see the dude on the wellspring, I mean the dark side. He's running to church, oh shit. Yeah, uh, he's there. Let's get but this is risky but guys, but I think it's better to do sooner than later, you know. Okay, so they are fighting. I'm not gonna like, engage into it. Uh this guy at the at the church is solo right now. Ooh shit, that was on him. No, 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 you're not gonna run away. Uh, 
Nice. Yeah, simple but accurate shots, guys. That's all it takes. If the guy is just running. Like, running away, of course. Okay, I'm gonna switch to officer. This is actually a perfect situation, because... We're getting in for close range. My hive bomb died just now, after such a long time. Yeah. Okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. I'm gonna clear out all the inside here. There's a medkit downstairs. Let's make a quick briefing and just familiarize with the compound. Mm, I'm full, nice. I left the true shot outside here, just in case. I think it's that direction, more or less. Open up and we can maybe even snipe ahead from here. Oh, whoa, 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 that was dangerous. Another medkit. Okay, that's uh, this one is way, way stronger here on the upper floor. Tried something. I think that was actually quite close. That was I think that was quite close to the guy. Oh I've seen him. Yeah, this dude is fast. This dude is fast, I can tell. This is a good player. There is more. That was the pre-fire, he's already behind corner. Eh? Yeah, he's he's a killer guys, I can tell. Other one coming from the other side again. He's already upstairs. Like here, behind the wall. Got him. Nice. And got him as well. That's a Romero, guys. That's a Romero. You have always enough, well, almost always enough time to reload. And then you just slab them. Alright guys, thank you so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll try to have uh, more of this kind of like uh, self-talking uh, in those quick play games. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments and also if you reached it um, till the end of the video, still I'm waiting for your build requests um, for the episodes from the bounty hunt. So guys, you're all invited to the comment section. Uh, please let me know what you think about the uh, about the uh, hitbox in Hunt Showdown, and if you have any build requests for the future episodes, uh, please be welcome to uh, type them in the in the comment section as well. There is zero in the queue right now, so guys, who's first? He's first. Yeah, simple as that. Okay. Uh, see you in the Wednesday episode, and uh, thanks for watching again. Bye bye. Guys, I told you, look, uh, we, we did 4 kills in this game, and there is one dude that's MMR6. And watch, this was, dude, this was our first kill at 440, the headshot with the packs at the Fort River. Uh, this is the guy we killed 
that was running away uh, from us with the wellspring outside the outside the church, and then I've been shooting with this guy with the with the black hoodie that I I told you that I think is really strong. I killed him, and then right after that, the guy from the uh, that pushed from from the balcony, and this is the guy I killed at 1301. So that's exactly the the player I thought uh, is is really good by his reaction times and and aiming. So yeah, I was right. MR6, strong strong matchup, but of course lost due to a Romero, yeah, because you don't need that that much skill to 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 kill a guy with Romero from five meters, yeah.